I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I promise you, if you stick around, it's a pretty good story. If you want to just jump ahead to see me shooting at stuff, you can fast forward or do whatever you like, but it is a good story. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. It was a great time. Getting a chance to hunt with Chuck again was awesome. Uh, we had a couple misses, uh, had a hit, no recovery, and then had a big surprise at the end. So stick through it, watch the video, leave a like if you like it, leave a dislike if you don't. But I appreciate y'all watching and end of 2022 whitetail season. So it's just nothing but pigs from here on out until uh, next September. All right, you have a good one. There's, uh, there's been a couple boars. I believe it's two boars. I'll let you be the judge. Here's some uh, game cam video of both of them. Um, these guys, I say two. I'm, I'm going by the, the tails. Their tails look different. Uh, I posted them on Facebook and, and uh, had some people look at them on hog hunting life and things like that, certain groups. And I'm getting a mixed reaction. Most of them say it's two different pigs, though. So I'm going to trust my counterparts on Facebook and, and, and assume it's two and hope it's two. So I'm on a quest for one of these guys. I really like this one. He looks a little cleaner there. It'd be nice to have both of them in the same video, but um, in the same game camp video. But I haven't been that lucky yet. So if you, if you follow my channel, you may know or may remember that the current record for the heaviest pig is 209 pounds, taken by my nephew Sean, um, 9.30 at night with a bow off of property line stand. That record's held for uh, three years, I believe.
I made a comment on Facebook about the Tacticam 6.0 being that it's probably going to be my last hunt using it. Uh, a friend of mine named Ben, I won't try to butcher your last name, asked me, hey, why, why is this going to be the last one? I'm going to let you look at this video of the shot of the pig I just missed. Tell me what you think. Maybe I got some settings wrong. I don't know. I'm just not real happy with it. Sorry, Tacticam. I mean, I like the 5.0 wide. I've had really good luck with it. Not a big fan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lord. Holy cow, me, 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 dude. Already. God dang it. Yeah, I, I left and I was like, God dang it, I forgot to freaking close that thing. We didn't get in to chew some more. That right. don't look chewed. Well, he's got a stash. Berries and stuff, don't he? I think it's going to die down to nothing. Two bags. Is that all you want? Two? Yeah. Oh, this one filled up. Taking that that camera with the light oh, okay. set up and putting it on. This one doesn't. Uh, still got juice. Six hundred and sixty-seven pictures. Drop. Right, let me turn that other one on. Maybe. I don't know if I did or not. I can't remember. I thought I did, but maybe I took them back out. I got batteries in my truck. I thought I put them in there. Maybe it ain't working. I gotta get the light position. I'm gonna put it on that tree over there. I 
The light's good up to 65 feet.
just hit a, a medium boar. Um, he's over there where my camera was aiming a minute ago. Um, he growled for a long time after I hit him, so, but he didn't, it didn't sound like he was moving away. It just sounded like he was either laying down or whatever. Um, I don't know about the shot. It didn't, it didn't penetrate very good. Um, it didn't look like it at least. Because it would seem like there was a bunch of arrow hanging out um, when he when he took off. I'm trying to think. It looked like it. Um, it might have been a shoulder. It, it made a hell of a whack. But I'm gonna give it a minute. Chuck's text me, asked me I need help. I'm just done telling to sit tight for a minute. Whew. I was hoping, I was hoping for that, that big monster to come in, but you know, they're they're real skittish tonight. They're we put the we put some corn out, we serviced the feeders today and uh, we left some smell on the ground. They were really skittish um, had that one boar I missed last night come in I think I don't know if this is the same boar I missed last night or not but it looks very similar but he had come in early and um, and he had taken off he would come out he would pop out just for a second and then whoop, back into the woods and he'd come out back into the woods and he'd fuss and grunt a little bit you'll see it I got it on video but um, he wasn't gonna commit um, had them four little ones come in from behind the feeder and they they didn't have a care they they were a little bit skittish but not really um not not super they're little you know they have nothing to worry about but that kind of helped i think bring that other one in because he was like hey if they're there and you might be okay or whatever but i know one thing for me personally is i'm, I'm having a real hard time seeing but in this dusky you know it, it looks lighter on this camera because it the way the camera grabs the light but when I'm pulled back and that black pig I just through my peep I just I kind of just see a blob I don't really see a good distinct outline I do have my sight light or my uh, pig light on here but it didn't look like it was dark enough I needed that and I didn't want to risk spooking them but I don't know, I need to work on that. Maybe it's just my old, my eyeballs getting old or something. But it's last night, that miss I had last night was all due to just because I could not see. I pulled back and I just, all I could see was a black, a black blob and I was trying to kind of aim to the middle of them, but um, now nah, it didn't work out. I went right, right below them, so. All right, well, if you guys are ready, we can. We could take a walk down there and see what we see. It's gotten quiet. I hadn't heard no more growling. I don't hear, I don't hear any more movement either, so. All right, we'll go poke around. fledging. It's still in one piece. So he pulled it through.
Well, guys, I wish I had better news. Um, just lost blood. Went went all the way. I'll put a little map up. Went all the way to the other other uh, people's property line, and um, it just petered out. I I, I dropped a pin um, where I last seen blood, and I'll uh, go in tomorrow morning and see if I can pick it up. It was trick. Oh. Boy, that was loud too. You can see, and I talked about seeing the arrow, it didn't go in very far. Looks like it right in that elbow. Boy. He ducks down. It's hard to say. Let's watch it back full speed again. Boy, that vibration on that bow, that Tacticam 6.0, that housing on there just vibrates like crazy. You could hear it right there. It's such a loud smack. Boy, the shot placement looks really good, though. I'm shooting pretty heavy arrows, too. Montauk G5. It's just like <laughs> I have so much better luck when I hit them back here. That's two or three pigs now, I think, in this year that I've lost with a similar hit trying to put it through that shoulder. buddy stand if you look behind me there's a stand up in the tree somewhere over there um we don't hunt this area too much it's it's not like the furthest south end of the property um biggest problem we have is there's certain times of the year you just can't get to it it's uh it floods out i'm i'm actually walking through a slough right now that it gets pretty flooded um, some a lot of times of the year, but it's really nice. A lot of acorns and stuff. So I'm on the uh, wow, they've been tearing us up through here. I'm on the property line road from about the south end of the property. Look at the rooting going on around here. Holy smokes! Um, I'm gonna head to that pin. We're almost we're pretty close right now actually let's cut right in here there's a 
straight. Oh, this is right by what? somewhere through here is where I lost the blood. I'm going to save some battery here. If I pick something up, I'll turn you back on. Well, I don't know, guys. I've done circles and circles. I'm going to do one more.
mountain buck with a nine millimeter handgun. Oh my God. Yeah, cause there's the edge of the water. There's this, there's the scrape. So this is that cypress that I pinned. So this is where I lost blood when him crossing last night. And when I shot the buck, he was over there. And then he ran over here. Here, Mr. Filmmaker. Film it. Yep. Look at the mass on this guy. Split. Oh, he's got a split mane. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's why I took the poke. Oh my god. Look at the mass. And I like the color of that thing. Dark. That is a nice deer. Worth the shot, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the outlet. That's awesome. <laughs> that's probably one of them I seen last year. Dude, that's my that's my biggest buck ever. Look at this. Yeah. Crab clawed. So we gotta get some pictures for Tyler. Hole in the horn here, a bow fly yeah. hole. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, dude. Big white tail and the pig nose. Well, I got the record for white tail now down here. I need to get a couple pictures for me. That Tyler's is already tearing me up. That is pretty. You gotta lay them out like you've seen those. That is cool. Almost like you started a drop pine or something and broke it off. Yeah. You? That's Tyler's saying. That's pretty good. Pictures. Three mine points. This, I mean, so well, even. I've had a hell of a season this year for white tail. It's so even. I mean, look how he just perfect mm -hmm. comes around. I love the mass, dude. That's the yeah. mass is just amazing. I just love the colors down here. I'd shoot something like this down here if I got a chance for a bro. Because it's, uh, I just like the color of them down here from this, these trees they rub on. I wonder what tree he's rubbing. Uh, he's, I don't know, a bunch of them. That's an old deer too, dude. Yeah. Look how gray he is. That's pretty. He's a, this is his timber. This right is here. this is my I, out of all white tail. This is my biggest ever. That's pretty deer. But I've had a huge year this year. I know. It. That's look at the body. Of it. It's mm -hmm. got a beautiful body. Man, that's a nice looking deer. Dude, if you body. don't if you don't shoulder mount that one, you're yeah, I'm gonna have to. Pretty that well. is a pretty How day. do we want to lay them out? We want to go against that log? Uh, you don't. We'll have to see what the, the sun. sun does. We may have to have that. We need the sun like this on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put it back here with the tree. Well, he's going to take Yeah. He's pretty. He's kind of spinning. It's in my pocket right now. What do you want to do? Oh, look at him. Yeah, tough as one as well. It's ready to shoot. Uh, should I be back further? We get a couple. Yeah, so here, here. Now get him. Uh, um, yeah, there you go. Kind of turn his head to see the peg. Let's see that.
That's two monster bucks I've gotten by luck. God, that mass is just amazing. Or if I should get here, let's take one with grab his ear if you're holding his antlers. They're kind of like that or other yeah. ear? Like that. Run it either back up or down. There you go. Alright, turn his head just a little bit to the other way or like that. So we can see that back. There you go, right there. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, that shows you good. <laughs> Tyler's gonna shit. That's not nice good, dude. Pretty. Really good. Dang. He's got a bit of 18 inside. God, he's this this is beautiful. So symmetrical. Little bust of stuff. I just can't get over how dark these antlers are. That is so cool. Look here. He was I don't know. He may not that may be as good as he's gonna get. He has definitely got a little age on him. I think he's four and a half, maybe five and a half. And he's got this this beautiful coat. That thing, he is just gorgeous. Let's see where the entrance goes. Let's see, uh, see how I place the entrance shot. Right there. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. That'd Only be good. a nine millimeter. Yeah. 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 That's his bow flow. Perfect. Yeah, he's pretty. So, just beautiful. Right, Got any teeth left? Top jaw, you ain't got no teeth. Yeah, no teeth. I'd say he's probably close to Yeah, just look at his, I mean, his the gray on his nose, and he got a little scar there. Yeah, with a fresh rub. Yeah, he was just rubbing when I seen him. He was rubbing on that tree. Yeah, really cool. He definitely had something right there. In there. Yeah, something like a drop. Off. He almost had one right here. I think he had a little one here, Joey, and mm -hmm. broke off. Enough that one off. So he's God, a nine. We'll call him a nine. He is a nine. He's a true nine. This one's coming. Kind of Just pretty deer. That's awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Color. See, Illinois don't have these. Their, their, their antlers are real light colored. Right. It's so all they rub is like oaks and stuff. These things rub these. Something has got sap in it. What an age, I wonder. Boy, that mass on his main beam. I'm going to say he's at least four and a half. Just by the graying of his... Huh. You got a lot of ticks on him. Boy, he ain't like a New York deer. Boy, it's it. He's a pretty deer. Yeah, nice high. Yeah, when I seen, dude, I couldn't help myself. I seen him. I said, yeah, I'm going to have to take a poke. I mean, them are freaking nine inch, eight, nine inch times, nine inch. 
Look at that. They're so symmetrical. That's pretty dear. Bob and Ty in there. You want me to hold it or you're right in it? Got shadow right on it. Yeah, hold. Gotta be careful because I got blood on my boots. I'm thinking he stayed right on his trail though. This is tracks. Track. Hey, there's blood there. Little bitty drop. There's, there's more. Some right here, I'm on it. Right here. Right here. Get your gun. Yeah. So I got some right here by my feet. So looks like he went this way. But yep, I got blood. Here. Well, never dull moment down here. Had the Chuck Pickerel Hog and Deer Ranch now. So I'm done for the year deer hunting. Um, unless I want to go shoot some does, but I'm very happy with the way this season ended up. Um, you know, only thing could have been better is if I got that one with a bow, but oh well. Biggest of my life so far, so maybe next year we can beat it. All right, we got to head back to the camp and get cleaned up there he is yeah. need a light Who oh shot yeah I think that's a bow shot it's huh? gotta be you can see Crazy. all the damage on the inside too is that from a bow I'd say it probably would be wow a gun oh. right there would... what a paralyzed one that ain't where I aim when I shoot a bow though no <laughs> a little far back I wonder how, wonder if that, you don't think that was this year though, do you? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, you see how bony his back hip is right yeah. here? Okay. Yeah, it is awful. Mm -hmm. I imagine it looks like it went in right here, mm -hmm. where all the yellow. That's... Yeah, he's got blood caught over here. Yeah. Too. Does he? Yeah, I'm going to spin him around this yeah. way. He sure does. When I finish right here, you'll see. Oh yeah. Wow, I wonder when that was. Recent. All right, just dropped a buck off at North Georgia Deer Processing. Got to see Tyler and his guys there working. They got a good place, so if you need a deer processor here in North Georgia, North Georgia Deer Processing, I'm definitely a place to bring it. He's gonna deliver to his cape uh, to to the taxidermist that he works with, one of them. Um, they should be giving me a call, so I'll keep you guys posted about that. Gotta pick out what kind of form and how to make it look, so. Well, I'm headed home, man, I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm hungry, um, I'm ready to get home, so. Thanks for hunting with me on this trip. We'll do it again pretty soon. See ya.